Hello friends, today we are going to learn to calculate certain parameters that are required for a photo sensing application or a photo sensor device. A photo sensor device is a device which when illuminated with light response uh, gives response to that light that is the current changes or resistance change, uh, resistance of that particular device changes. Here we can as we can see in this particular plot we have calculated the current in dark that is without any illumination and then we have eliminated that particular device using particular light and we have calculated or we have measured its current. When we eliminate that eliminate a photo sensor using a light, the current values increases and we achieve a particular certain maximum value as we can see here. And when we switch off light, the photo sensor device recovers to the same current value as it was in dark. So this phenomena is called as photosensing that is uh, the device senses the light or senses the photons that are incident on it. So using this particular plot we are going to calculate certain parameters that are required to uh, analyze the photosensor device. That parameters do include the photosensitivity for response time as well as recovery time. Photosensitivity can be given by this particular formula that you can see here. Photosensitivity in percentage or percentage photosensitivity can be given as current in light minus current in dark divided by current in light into 100. The calculated current values or the photosensitivity value here is 25%. We will learn or we will see how we can calculate it. And uh, the response and recovery time are the other two parameters that we are going to calculate using this particular plot. The response time is the time required to achieve this particular maximum point that is when we switch on the light and achieve this particular maximum point the time required to achieve this point is called as the response time and the recovery time is the time required to uh, achieve the 90% recovery 90% recovery means the 90% uh, the uh, current should decrease to its 90% value of the initial uh, initial value that is uh, it would be around this particular point which is 90% of the total value, uh, maximum value that it has achieved. So in order to get the current values that is light and dark, what we need to do is we need to click on this particular data reader point and we can click here and then no, go to work, go to the sheet. Here we can see on X axis we have the time and on Y axis we have the current values. We can note down both of them to have certain values here we can see the values or the current value in dark this particular value in dark and the current value in light can be used to calculate the photosensitivity as we can see here we can substitute these values here and the calculated values after substitution we have achieved the photosensitivity of about 25 percent similarly using the x values or the time values here we had certain certain value called as as it it was 72 seconds. We have started at 72 seconds and we have stopped the bulb at 84 seconds. And so the difference between these two points or data points is 12.4 seconds and which can be called as response time. The uh, data point or the response or the current value which is 90% recovery value is 1.68 for this and the corresponding time is 207 seconds. So subtracting the time when we switched off to the time when we achieved 90% of recovery will give us the recovery time and the recovery time can be is equal to by just using or by just subtracting this value we can get it. and it is equal to 122.3 seconds. So the recovery time as we can write here recovery time is equal to 
sorry, 122.3 seconds. Okay. So this is the recovery time, response time, as well as the photosensitivity of the photosensor device using this particular plot. So thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.